Look, it's time to ask ourselves a key question. What is the future of custom application development? Where, where is all this going? I mean, we've talked about things like the Chatter social platform, the Force.com development platform, the infrastructure. I want to spend a few minutes and I want to walk you through a few of the details that enables that speed of development, that enables that innovation, and that can do for BMC, can also do for you and for your company. If that can enable BMC to create a brand new product and a brand new product line and go into a brand new market, why can't you do it in your own company? Why are our customers still using things like .NET and Java when they could be doing it on Force.com and getting that kind of a result? Isn't that the question we should be all asking? Let's take a look at the answer. The answer starts right down here. Yesterday I walked through these 10 things, but at the heart of all of this is our multi-tenant kernel. We've been working on this for over a decade. It's over a decade of hard work to make sure that we have the kernel in place so that as we do upgrades and updates, as we make sharing available, that we preserve the individual relationships between all of our customers. It enables the speed of innovation and of continuous advancement. And then it continues, as I talked about yesterday, with the power of our security, which is reinforced by you and the constant security evaluations that you're bringing in to our organization and our reliability, which has continued to increase year after year and in the last two quarters the highest that has it ever been, reaching approximately five nines and the scalability to bring up not just one user, but up to almost 100,000 at the Japan Post, or as many as you need to go on whatever instance is with, sale, with Salesforce systems, Force.com, or even our portals. And speed, the average transaction under 300 milliseconds, and trust with trust.salesforce.com so you can look at the real-time status of all of our systems and as I mentioned yesterday, the new five-minute upgrade so that your system is never away from you for more than five minutes, even when we are upgrading and updating all of our servers. And industry first, work during our upgrades. And now, our new bulk load API. Now you can increase your bulk loading into our system more than 100 million API calls a day with proven real-time integration. And the new bulk load API is 10 times faster with Winner 10 and Cloud Deploy, a brand new capability with one button to go, into, go from sandbox and into production. Brand new in Custom Cloud 2. One click change migration, full app, lifecycle management. And Salesforce to Salesforce, our multi tenant system, the ability to build private tunnels between our systems to build applications connecting partners and vendors and suppliers backed up by our three global data centers. All of those things make up our key infrastructure. And then we add in the development platform that gives you the speed to build, the speed to go faster and cheaper than any other system in the market. No application development deployment platform is going to get you where you need to go faster. You don't choose hardware and software, databases, application servers. You're not making the choice between WebSphere and then go, do I want BA or do I want JBoss? You're not making the decision, do I want DB2, do I want Oracle, do I want SQL Server? Look. You're making the decision, what features and functions do you need to make your users successful? That's the power of our platform. That's where the speed comes from. We, we've already chosen the best of breed technologies, and if you want to know what those are, come to our data centers, come to our development centers, and we'll walk you through our whole architecture. Look, the reality is traditional platforms are just too slow, too complicated, and too expensive. You know, when I was at the Oracle conference, it was amazing in size. 40,000, we only have 19,000. I mean, that's a huge target for us to get to. It was incredible in terms of scale. But at the bottom of every escalator, when I walked down, the thing that they're selling everyone are these boxes, these Oracle machines, Exadata computers, 
with these blinking lights at me, like this blinking everywhere I went. And I went, I can't believe it. It's like I'm trapped in a 1980s horror movie. We would never do that to you. We would never do that to you. We would never kind of make it. You saw all those crazy things. When you go to Twitter and you type SharePoint space fail, look at the feeds that we were getting yesterday. When you type in BA or WebLogic fail, look at the things that come in to Twitter. Look at the problems and the issues that customers are having around the world with old workgroup systems or old application servers or old ERP systems. Too slow, too many people, too complicated, and too expensive. It's the status quo, and you're paying for it with 22% maintenance agreements. Isn't it time to take an end to those maintenance agreements and send them back where they came from and get some innovation? Aren't you ready for that? When are you going to ask for innovation instead of paying maintenance? It's insane what's happening to our industry. And you know what? Those software vendors, they feel an entitlement. They think that it's their very purpose in life to collect those taxes on software development inventions that were done decades ago. And they haven't provided any advancement at all in any of those capabilities or systems. And yet you still have to pay year after year. We have to break through that. And that's what cloud computing and all the vendors in the expo hall and all the vendors that aren't even here who are part of cloud computing are doing, giving customers a new, fresh, exciting way to break out of the status quo, to break out of these old models of, of, of slow, expensive, and complex and we're seeing a better way. Right on your browser, ideas that came out of the consumer world with Amazon and eBay, we didn't invent them like Bob said, he's wrong. He's a great guy, I love him, but he's wrong. We didn't invent it, Amazon invented it. Jeff Bezos invented it. Pierre, Pierre Omidar invented it at eBay. Jeff Yang invented it at Yahoo. These are the great thinkers of our time. They showed the enterprise the way through the consumer world. And Biz Stone and Evan Williams at Twitter and Mark Zuckerberg at Facebook, these are the geniuses of our time and we are standing on their shoulders. That is all. That is all. We take no credit for any of those ideas. But when you compare their ideas against those 22% maintenance agreements, it's unbelievable what they've delivered in their companies against this, what we're saddled with in the enterprise software industry. It is time to change. We need to be able to make customizations easy. We need to be able to do like what we just saw with BMC. They built an application in a couple of months. They're getting to release it in production in a few more months. I didn't ask Bob this, but I bet it's the fastest they've ever built a new system for release for their customers and a user interface, a user interface. You can build any UI you saw. Their user interface doesn't look like ours. They're the, that's the user interface their customers want. It's a programmable user interface. You can make it look how you want for your customers as they need it. It could be a website. It can be a workstation. And not just that, it's logic. Store your code on our servers. Let us handle your stored procedures and your triggers. Let us do your workflow and your approvals. Let us handle your websites. Last year we were here announcing Salesforce.com sites and Force.com sites. Over the last year, you've built over 11,000 sites that deliver hundreds of millions of pages. Our most popular new feature, you can take all this and build any kind of a website or an internet site, or a public website, it is awesome what our development team has done. You know, I need to just stop right now. If you're in our software development team, if you work for Parker Harris, if you're reporting to Parker and you're in software development or operations or systems, stand up and be recognized for your excellence. Stand up if you're working for Parker and his organization and be recognized for the outstanding work that you're doing for this company and this industry. Stand up. Stand up. Thank you. Thank you to thank you. Thank you to our world class engineers, to our world class operators, thank you, to the people running the data centers and managing security. Thank you. You are the ones who are changing the industry. 
and an integrated content library now that you can manage all your content within our systems and it's now included directly inside our applications and real-time analytics like you saw the ability to quickly build analytics into your own applications like BMC just did and real-time knowledge so that now with our new real-time knowledge base based on the tremendous technology of Instranet you have the ability incredible ability to have knowledge management as a key part of every application you're building and over 800 integrated apps that you've already put into our app exchange with one click integration no integration code no integration code incredible and now we're very happy to tell you that if you're inspired to build a force.com app if you're inspired to try this if you're inspired to do what BMC just did and what thousands of others have done you can build your first app on us with force.com free edition a hundred free users get your free licenses today visit custom cloud 2 comp uh, campground on freeforce.com and it's free forever now I want to bring up someone to represent you. I spent the day here yesterday going around talking to all the customers and the customer that really inspired me is an incredible company and an incredible CEO. He's actually an entrepreneur and his company is an unbelievably fast growing company. And he represents you in this area. His simple concept is he's trying to take glass that's been recycled and turn it into kitchen countertops instead of using plastics and using processed materials and he's trying to run his whole company exclusively on the technology that we're talking about here at this show please give a very wonderful Dreamforce welcome to Jim Shepard CEO of Atrazo. Jim come on out <laughs> 